Hey there, awesome physics students. Let's talk about center of mass, torque, and how that tells you about stability. So in a previous video, we talked about how you can balance a Coke can uh, between two support points on the rim here, as long as the center of mass is between those two support points. Let's talk about why that works in terms of torque. Uh, before we talk about that, let's talk about a simpler example uh, with a chair. Um, and so you have, here's the floor, and the chair this is a two-dimensional chair, and so there's a support point at the back, and you get a force up on that, on the chair, and then there's a support point at the front leg, and you get a force up on that, where, from the floor on the chair. And then we, uh, the key to remember here is that we always put the force of the weight, that is the gravitational force, at the center of mass of an object. So uh, here, if the center of mass is right there, then this force is going to act down like that, Let's extend these lines of action to plus and minus infinity so we can talk about the torque uh, at different points. So if I sum the torques about the back leg, the gravitational force is going to produce a clockwise uh, torque around that back leg point, but the force on the front leg is going to produce a counterclockwise torque. Those two will sum to zero and you will get zero torque about the back. If instead I choose the center of mass as my axis point, then I'm going to get a uh, clockwise torque from the back leg, a counterclockwise torque from the force on the front leg, and those two will sum to zero, and I will again get zero net torque uh, about this center of mass. If I choose the front leg as my axis point, then the back leg is again going to cause a clockwise torque about that point. Uh, the uh, weight of the uh, chair is going to cause a counterclockwise torque, and um, those two are again going to sum to zero. No matter where I put the axis, um, the sum of the torques is always going to be zero. There's no angular acceleration around any axis point. And you can see this occurs when, for a simple situation like this, when you have the weight of the object is between, or the center of mass is between two support points. And so that's exactly what's going to happen here is we have these two support points, and we need to make the level right, we need to drink this level down exactly right so the center of mass will be exactly between those two support, well not exactly midway, but uh, somewhere between those two support points. This is also important if you're standing. So if I draw a person, and I'm going to draw a person with giant clown feet like this, uh, so you can see, so these are their feet right here, and so if at, there's going to be a, a support point at the toes where the tippy toes are, and then there's going to be a support back at the heel of the person, and the center of mass of the person is going to be in the middle, and so that's going to act like that. And again, the person is going to be stable because these two um, support points are, the, the center of mass is between those two support points. If you get up on your tippy toes, of course, um, like this, then you have to, you know, you have support points like here at the very front of your toes and at the ball of your foot and then your heel is off the ground here. And so what you're going to have to do is kind of lean forward and um, it looks like you're on skis, but I'm just exaggerating the size of the feet here. And so you need the support point to be, uh, uh, the center of mass to be between those two support points. So what do you do when you get on your tippy toes is you naturally lean forward to make yourself stable. Now there's times when you don't want stability and that is when you want to get moving. You want to have some acceleration or some angular acceleration of some part of your body. And so this can occur, for example, when you're walking. Um, so if you have a person who wants to walk, what they'll do is they'll uh, put their leg out and this shifts their center of mass forward. And so you actually want your center of mass in front of uh, 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 your support point here so that it causes some angular acceleration or some rotation in this direction. And what you do is you stick your foot out and then you catch yourself. And then the next time, then you shift your weight to the other foot and you stick your foot out again and you want to uh, again rotate down like this and you catch yourself. So this is what you do is you shift your center of mass in front of your toes and you fall but then you catch yourself with your outstretched foot. And this is an inherently unstable situation but that's the desire because we want to walk forward. All right.